Oceans are still a mystery, hiding secrets deep beneath the waves, from sunken ships and lost cities. It seems to be that whatever this structure is, somebody built it there, and sea levels rose enough that it got submerged. To strange creatures, there's always something thrilling to discover. Get ready for the wonders as we explore the unknown and reveal the hidden stories of the ocean. What is that? Sometimes the past is hidden beneath the waves, and this city is its proof. Xichang, or Lion City, was built in 621 AD by the Tang Dynasty in China's Zhejiang province. It thrived until 1959, when it was submerged to create the Xin'an River Dam, displacing 300,000 people. Decades later, divers discovered this underwater marvel and found out it was remarkably well-preserved under Qiandao Lake. The ancient architecture, intricate carvings, and timeless beauty of Lion City now serve as a mesmerizing diving spot for tourists. If you love diving, then you should dive deep here. Who knows, you might just uncover a piece of the past that's more alive than ever. Thonis Heraklion Lost cities often live in legends, but Thonis Heraklion? Well, it's bright as day. It was first spotted from the air in the 1930s, but it took until 1999 to find and dig it up. Nestled at the Nile's mouth, this sunken Egyptian city combined two ancient names. Upon excavation, it uncovered statues, temples, and coins, all swallowed by the sea for over a thousand years. These artifacts not only solved one, but two mysteries of ancient Egypt. The sea may have hidden these treasures, but their discovery shines a light on a grand past. No doubt, the deep waters hold the brightest secrets of our history. Zenobia's Treasure Ever heard of a shipwreck that's also a diving paradise? Meet the Zenobia, a legendary wreck that sank during its maiden voyage in 1980. The ship was carrying over 100 trucks and was worth 200 million pounds and went down in the Mediterranean near Cyprus due to a pesky software glitch. Miraculously, there were no casualties. Now, the Zenobia rests on its port side in 42 meters of water, and it's become a must-visit for divers. With barracudas swimming around and the ship's cargo still intact, it's like stepping into an underwater time capsule. Sea Martyrs At the bottom of the sea in La Palma, 65 feet down, there are 40 crosses and each cross marks a sad story that dates back 400 years ago. In 1570, a French pirate named Jacques de Soros and his crew took over a ship carrying 40 Portuguese missionaries. Since they found those missionaries useless, de Soros threw them overboard. Those poor souls were later considered as martyrs. In 2000, they set up a memorial by putting 40 crosses at the location of the tragedy. This underwater cemetery is a chilling reminder of what happened. Let's hope the souls of those who met their fate can find peace in the depths. Submerged Mystery On the southern coast of Yonaguni Island in Japan, scientists discovered an ancient submerged monument that had baffled archaeologists for decades. Sometimes called Japan's Atlantis, it was discovered in 1986 by a Japanese diver and it boasted clean pyramidal structures, which sparked debates about its origins. Some researchers speculated that it might have been crafted by an advanced prehistoric civilization over 10,000 years ago. The structure had some stuff like steps, animal carvings, and strategic holes, which suggested it was man-made while others argued it was a natural formation shaped by tectonic activity and erosion. The mystery still remains unsolved. Do you think it's a natural wonder or an ancient human creation? Nephilim Helmet While diving deep in the ocean, divers stumbled upon a huge rusted metal object that looked like a giant Roman helmet. It was so big that a diver could swim into it. The helmet was perfectly placed on the seafloor and covered in rust. When the footage surfaced online, speculation ran wild. Some believed it might belong to giants of the past, possibly a Nephilim warrior who threw its helmet into the sea. 
Others thought it was staged and placed there by humans, or that it could be an art piece. What could be the possible explanation for this? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Vanished Souls Ever wonder why there's no human remains at the Titanic wreck site? Well, it's because the Titanic sank almost 4,000 meters deep, and the sea dissolved the bodies over time. But what it couldn't dissolve were these pairs of shoes. During an expedition in 2000, divers found these leather shoes. All of the bodies were gone, but left behind were these haunting reminders. Leather doesn't dissolve, so shoes remain scattered across the ocean floor. Among them were shoes of a 12-year-old boy. These shoes are the only evidence left of the lives once lost in that tragic event. Thistlegorm's Wreck Off Egypt's Ras Mohammed, the SS Thistlegorm tells a World War II tale from beneath the waves. This British cargo ship, built in 1940, was just on its fourth mission when German bombers struck it in 1941. Anchored in the Red Sea, it took two direct hits and sank with a load of wartime treasures. Guns, ammunition, and armored vehicles. It was rediscovered in 1955 by the legendary Jacques Cousteau. The wreck was forgotten until recently when the place became a diving hotspot. Now, lying at just 30 meters deep, the Thistlegorm's cargo is still visible, making it a fascinating dive into the past. Cursed Cenote. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but it unveiled the truth in this case. Deep in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, the Maya caves have long been feared by locals who kept their kids away from these ancient, eerie places. Rumor had it that these caves were sites of human sacrifice. When a team of divers and researchers explored a submerged cenote, they uncovered chilling evidence, scattered human skeletal remains and Mayan artifacts which confirmed the dark history. These caves are infamous among divers for their treacherous conditions, making exploration a dangerous feat. So if you're tempted to dive in, remember, some mysteries are best left undisturbed. Dive cautiously and respect the legends. Deep Remnants Diving into history isn't just about exploring sunken ships. It's about facing ghosts from the past. 60 years after the Bismarck sank in World War II, an international team discovered it in 1989. Two German veterans, Heinz Steig and Heinrich Count, who survived Bismarck's fiery end, returned to confront their haunting memories. With only 116 of over 2,200 men rescued, the Bismarck's remains lay 4,800 meters deep. Scientists used submersibles to capture high-definition footage of the wreck, which revealed the consequences of decisions and misfortunes that led to the ship's demise. Ancient Discovery Sometimes, the past comes alive in the most unexpected places. In 2007, divers were exploring the Hoip Negro cave networks of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula when they made a stunning discovery the oldest human remains ever found in the U.S. The remains belonged to a girl who they named Naya, and they were 13,000 years old. Naya fell 190 feet into a dry pit, which later became submerged, preserving her remains remarkably well. DNA research showed that she was a genetic relative of today's Native Americans. This amazing discovery not only informs us about Naya's sad fate, but also deepens our connection to our ancient history in an incredible way. Spooky Shipwreck In May 2019, NOAA researchers were testing underwater drones in the Gulf of Mexico when they stumbled upon a spooky shipwreck. The wreck seemed to have caught fire before it went down, as they found charred timber around it. Dating back around 200 years, the ship's exact story is still a mystery. Researchers discovered the number 20109 etched into its structure and shared live feeds while exploring the wreck. Experts believe the ship was probably built around 1850. The sea always keeps its secrets, but each dive brings us closer to uncovering the hidden tales of the past. Let's hope they find something. Baltic Sea Anomaly Curiosity might open doors to the unknown, and a group of divers in the Baltic Sea sure found that to be true. While exploring, 
they stumbled upon a 300 meter long carved path leading to a 60 meter thick and circular object on the sea floor. It looked like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, a mysterious alien spacecraft-like structure. Discovered in 2011 at about 90 meters deep, this Baltic Sea anomaly has sparked endless theories and debates. But despite numerous guesses, no one has cracked the code on what it truly is. So if you're into deep sea mysteries, this one's a real head scratcher. Endurance Discovery. The infamous Shackleton ship, the Endurance, lost for over a century, was recently found at the bottom of the Weddell Sea off Antarctica. The vessel was crushed by sea ice and sunk in 1915, which left Shackleton and his men to make a heroic escape on foot and in small boats. In 2022, 107 years later, scientists filmed the shipwreck, and it was in remarkable condition despite sitting 10,000 feet underwater. The name Endurance was still clearly visible on the stern. A marine archaeologist called it the finest wooden shipwreck ever discovered. The discovery was made with an icebreaker and remotely operated submersibles. The wreck is now a designated monument under the International Antarctic Treaty and must not be disturbed. Train Graveyard Ever heard of trains at the bottom of the ocean? Well, off New Jersey's coast, a local diver stumbled upon a nautical mystery. Two 19th century steam locomotives standing upright on the sea floor. About eight miles from the beach, these relics seem to be on invisible rails. You can see the steam chests, pistons, and wheels, but the wooden cabs have likely been eaten away by marine pests. How did these heavy engines end up there? Why haven't they sunk deeper? And why aren't there any fishing nets tangled around them? It was a rare find in the world of shipwrecks, or should I say train wrecks, but the answers to these questions still remain unknown. What do you think? Deep Sea Mermaid. Could this be real proof of mermaids? Back in 2013, some experts from NOAA were deep sea diving in an underwater vehicle, filming the fish and creatures that passed by. Everything seemed fine at first, but little did they know they were about to witness something unforgettable. While filming, a strange creature suddenly appeared from the corner. At first, they didn't notice, but then it smashed into the glass and shook them to their core. For a brief moment, they saw what looked like a pale humanoid hand. They weren't sure what it was, but they all agreed it might be a legendary mermaid. Lemur Graveyard. In a remote corner of Madagascar, an underwater cave revealed a surprising secret, an ancient lemur graveyard. A team of anthropologists and paleontologists discovered the largest single fossil collection of lemur remains ever found. Hundreds, possibly thousands of skeletal remains, some over a thousand years old, were found perfectly preserved. This site gave really cool info about how humans, marine life, and land animals are all connected. Mystery Bones A diver exploring 2,700 feet under the sea stumbled upon a giant skeleton that sparked endless curiosity. The footage from an ROV revealed a massive 100-foot-long set of bones, including an intact spinal column. None of the usual sea creatures in the area fits this size. Giant fish top out at max 30 feet, and whale vertebrate didn't match. So whose remains were these? Even paranormal researchers couldn't solve the puzzle. Was it an ancient sea dragon or a dinosaur fossil? Well, the answers to these questions are still unknown. If you've got any theories of your own on this, go ahead and share them down in the comments section. Apollo Salvage. In 2013, sunken treasures from Apollo 11's historic mission had been recovered from the Atlantic. Jeff Bezos, through his expeditions with Amazon and Blue Origin, located and salvaged parts of two F-1 engines that once powered the Saturn V rockets, which took astronauts to the moon. After their initial flight in the late 1960s and early 1970s, 
these engines had sunk to the ocean floor, seemingly lost forever. Bezos, inspired by the moon landing as a child, led this private expedition to retrieve and restore the engines. After returning to the land, the parts would be delicately fixed to keep their tale of fast re-entry into the atmosphere and ocean landing intact, giving us a real connection to the exciting era of space exploration. HMS Terror The ice holds many secrets, and sometimes it takes centuries to reveal them. Take this for instance. In the 1840s, the ships HMS Erebus and HMS Terror, led by Sir John Franklin, went to map out the Northwest Passage. Unfortunately, they got stuck in ice off King William Island, and everyone on board met their fate. Their fate was a mystery, until the wrecks were found in 2014 and 2016. Archaeologists are still examining these incredibly well-preserved ships, which might finally reveal the secrets of their doomed voyage. It's a spooky reminder of nature's unforgiving force and the courage of those who venture into its unexplored territories. River Mystery Time may flow like a river, but secrets always find their way to the surface. In 1976, Clarence Owens and Everett Hawley disappeared suspiciously and left the Pecatonica River area completely puzzled. Police did their part, but couldn't find anything, and the case was closed. Until March 2024, when their gold Chevy Impala was found just underwater in the river, along with human remains. This finding has reignited interest in the cold case and sparked hope of solving the mystery surrounding the two men's disappearance. The locals in Pecatonica are still captivated by the puzzle and are really keen on finding the answers that have eluded them for nearly 50 years. Crusader Relic A local man's weekend dive turned into a historic discovery. While exploring the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Israel, he spotted something incredible, a medieval sword. Found nearly 150 meters from shore and five meters deep, the sword was covered in barnacles and rust. Experts estimated it to be around 900 years old, dating back to the Crusades. They believe it might have belonged to a knight, given the proximity to the ancient knight cantonment in Aklit. Now, experts are carefully cleaning the sword to uncover more details. This find adds another fascinating piece to the puzzle of history. What other treasures might the sea be hiding? Giant Knife A photo of a giant underwater knife had everyone buzzing. No one knew who took it, where it was taken, or what those divers were doing with what looked like a 15-foot-long knife. Just speculation is all we have. Some suggested it belonged to a race of giants that walked the Earth millions of years ago. Others said it was probably an art piece by an unknown artist dropped into the ocean. The truth is, nobody knows what this photo of the giant knife meant. What's your take on this mysterious underwater find? Underwater Hybrid What is this fish? Looks like we have a deep water hybrid fish here. Two men spotted a weird fish while walking along the shore. At first, it looked like a huge mouse swimming, but then they zoomed in. It turned out to be a mix of a mouse and a fish with a tail like a gator's and a strange pattern on its back. That is not a fish. <laughs> the footage calls to stir on the internet, with people speculating that it might be a lab-created hybrid. The real truth behind this creature is still a mystery. What are your thoughts on what it could be? Share those opinions down below. Mysterious Jellyfish Japan's waters never cease to amaze, and recently, an ROV discovered a truly mysterious sea creature deep in the ocean. Initially, experts thought it was a type of jellyfish, but this strange being had tentacles with oval-shaped structures at the ends, moving like boat oars. Marine scientists were baffled by this new deep-sea species, highlighting how many secrets still lurk in the ocean's depths. This discovery made us wonder what other secrets the depths of oceans are hiding. What do you think it could be? Prehistoric Creature Ever seen a creature straight out of a prehistoric tale? 
This video, captured by an underwater camera, allegedly shows just that. An ROV exploring the seabed spotted two glowing eyes in the distance. When the lights hit, a humongous creature appeared, looking like something from ancient times, and then it backed off into the darkness. The footage caused quite the stir online. No one knows where the video was taken, and it hasn't been confirmed if the creature was prehistoric. Some thought it might be an edit, but no one had proven that either. What do you think it was? Giant Shark A Japanese marine biology team captured the largest shark ever recorded. This massive creature boasted rows of 17-centimeter fangs and measured between 18 to 20 meters in length. Some even believe this animal might be the legendary Megalodon. The Megalodon was one of the most furious predators of prehistoric seas. While science is almost certain it went extinct, some theories suggested it could still be lurking in the depths. If true, this discovery could rewrite what we know about our oceans. What do you think? Could the Megalodon still be out there? Meteorite Treasure A valuable rock usually doesn't just fall out of the sky. But on February 15, 2013, one did. A meteorite exploded over Russia's Chelyabinsk region and crashed into Lake Chabarkul. Divers searched the lake for months and finally found a big chunk of the meteorite. People have been selling smaller pieces of it for thousands of dollars. It got scientists and treasure hunters all excited because meteorite fragments were really valuable. Who knows what other cool stuff is out there just waiting to be found? Giant Squid Encounter In 2023, intriguing footage made its way online showing a sperm whale with the remains of a giant squid still in its mouth. There even appeared to be a dismembered tentacle clinging to the whale, which showcased the squid's desperate efforts to escape. Despite its struggle, the squid met its fate. This encounter just gave us a trailer of the aftermath of these legendary ocean giants. What do you think about this? Share those thoughts in the comments. Horned Croc Mystery In the flooded underground caves of Madagascar, scientists stumbled upon the remains of an extinct crocodile species. They call it the Horned Croc, and it disappeared about 2,000 years ago, maybe when humans showed up. This finding goes against the idea that crocs never change and shows their evolutionary history is more complicated than we thought. They went diving, and after a tense half-hour search, they found a perfectly preserved crocodile skull. This could have clues in its DNA that reveal why the horned croc went extinct and where it fits into the crocodile family tree. They're on it, so let's see what kinds of secrets the DNA unlocks. Upside Down Shark <laughs> A group of tourists were cruising in the sea when they spotted something strange. A shark swimming upside down. The onlookers were stunned and puzzled by the shark's unusual behavior. Is that normal? No. <laughs> what is that? Oh, wow. There was another video, too, filmed by a diver, which showed the same bizarre thing happening to another shark. When these clips hit the internet, speculations ran wild. Some thought the sharks were struggling to live, while others believed they had been poisoned by fishermen. But experts had an explanation. It's called tonic immobility, a hypnotic state that makes sharks relax and is more common in female sharks. So, no worries at all. The sea always surprises us, doesn't it? Spear fishing. In 2006, NOAA scientists were diving 526 meters deep and were filming a squid, but stumbled upon a bizarre sight. A beam of light passed behind the squid. They went even deeper to investigate it and found another bizarre sight, a fish with a massive spear in its belly. This made a round of speculation as no known deep sea creature uses tools like this. Netizen speculated it sure was a mermaid or a creature like that, and it might have been hunting for food. So the question is, 
Could it be a real mermaid or something else entirely? Drop your comments below. Blue Light Mystery. On May 23rd, 2024, workers on an oil platform in Bacia de Campos, Rio de Janeiro, spotted a strange blue light in the sea at a distance. They waited for a while and got close to it at night. It was still under the water, almost like there was something huge in it. This glowing light sparked wild theories online. Some speculated it could be an alien sighting, while experts suggested it might be bioluminescent bacteria. These tiny organisms can create stunning underwater light displays. But could it also be an unidentified submersible object? A USO? The ocean's depths hold many secrets, and this glowing mystery only adds to the intrigue. What do you think? Was it a natural wonder or something more otherworldly? Bugfish. A diver was enjoying shallow water diving and was filming the corals and the fish inside. But what he got on the camera was something out of the world. As he was filming around, he noticed something strange was moving toward him. It was a strange fish, a mixture of a bug and a fish, and it was moving strangely, almost like it was out of place. Netizens had divided thoughts on it. Some said it was an alien fish, while many insisted it was just a clever edit. But its reality is unfortunately still unknown. <laughs> giant Legend Ever heard of the giant oarfish? Well, you're about to see one up close. These serpent-like fish, which reside at great depths, are often blamed for sparking sea monster myths among sailors. Scientists recently released what's believed to be the first deep-sea footage of one. Captured by a remotely operated vehicle in the northern Gulf of Mexico, the oarfish swam into view during a seafloor survey. Named for their oar-shaped fins, oarfish can reach lengths of over 30 feet. But this was way longer than that. One recorded case was way back in 1808, when a 56-foot creature washed ashore in Scotland. According to the local legends, they've been linked to tales of serpents and dragons. Antikythera Marvel When we think of ancient tech, we picture stone tools, right? But imagine our surprise when sponge divers unearthed a 2,000-year-old Greek gizmo that flipped history on its head. This corroded chunk of metal was initially dismissed as junk, but turned out to be what's now known as the Antikythera Mechanism, a sophisticated ancient calculator with bronze gears that mapped celestial cycles. It was discovered in 1902. Its gears were so advanced they actually shocked scientists. With 3D X-ray tech revealing its secrets, scientists have speculated it might have predicted eclipses and tracked celestial movements. Or there's an even crazier theory that the Greeks might have been on the brink of space travel. So what do you think about this crazy find? Alien fish. Ever seen a fish that looks like it swam straight out of a sci-fi movie? Meet the Macropinna microstoma, commonly known as the Pacific barrel eye fish. It was first discovered in 1939, but they only managed to take a photo of it in 2004. The Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute spotted it, and it's got a see-through, domed head and tubular eyes. The thing lives super deep, like 2,000 to 2,800 feet down. Its unique features are just right for its dark world. The cool thing is that its tubular eyes can move around to spot its next meal while looking straight ahead. Even though it's a bit creepy, it's a great example of the incredible creatures that live in the depths of the ocean. Mimic Master Nature's best magician is this mimic octopus. It was first discovered in 1998 and has since left scientists and divers alike in awe. This crafty cephalopod doesn't just change the color of its skin to blend into its surroundings. It can also contort its body to imitate more dangerous marine creatures. From flatfish to the scary lionfish, and even the terrifying sea snake, the mimic octopus can mimic at least 15 different creatures. Two divers found one of these camouflage experts and filmed it. What are your thoughts about this mimic master? 
The Lost Crew. In 2021, the wreckage of an Indonesian Navy submarine, missing with its crew of 53, was found on the sea floor. All crew members were confirmed gone. The discovery came after debris was spotted two miles from the sub's last known location in the Bali Strait. Using sonar and a remote-operated vehicle, search and rescue teams found the submarine at a depth of 2,700 feet, broken into three parts. Among the findings were an escape suit, indicating the crew tried to react to the disaster. Experts believe heavy pressure caused the vessel to crack, which ruled out human error. Shark Tango So, it turns out that even the most thought-out plans can totally go sideways. This so-called shark whisperer found that out the hard way. This guy was so confident in his shark handling skills that he claimed even kids can handle these apex predators with his techniques. To prove his point, he decided to give a shark a big smooch. He flipped the shark over and went in for a kiss. But the shark mistook it for a threat and decided to bite him right in the face. Thankfully, the diver was okay, but it was a reminder that sharks are wild animals, not pets. Vertical Sleepers In the ocean, you never know what wonders await. This scuba diver was going his way when he spotted a mother and calf sperm whale standing upright. Curious, he moved around and found a whole social group of sperm whales standing in the same peculiar posture near the surface of the Indian Ocean. Turns out, they were just sleeping. As strange as it sounds, this is their sleeping posture, resting in a columnar formation. Findings confirm that sperm whales worldwide practice this vertical sleeping posture and spend about 7% of their time asleep, less than any other mammal on the planet. So next time you're diving, look up. You might just see a bunch of whales catching some vertical Zs. Deep Sea Devil. Ever heard the saying, looks can be deceiving? Meet the angry monkfish. With its protruding eyes, devilish body, and those unsettling lips, it's a sight to behold. While it may not be the scariest monster in the deep sea, it sure can give you a fright. Have a look at this epic clip from the Norwegian sector of the North Sea, where a monkfish swimming caught a coalfish. These fascinating fish can grow up to a meter long. So next time you're exploring the ocean, remember that even the most monstrous-looking creatures have their own unique charm. Oceanic Nightmare Deep in the ocean, there's a creature that looks like it came straight out of your worst nightmares. The giant isopod. These huge sea bugs are basically oversized ticks, measuring up to one and a half feet in length and weighing about three and a half pounds. It was discovered in 1879 by French scientists in the Gulf of Mexico. These creatures hang out in the deepest and darkest parts of the ocean, about 7,000 feet down. They specifically chow down on carcasses, but they have sharks on their menu too. In deep water dives, you'll definitely not want to confront these. It's time for today's open discussion. Have you ever thought about what an ancient city might look like? Well, Alit Nyam, located just off the coast of Israel, could be the real deal. This Neolithic village, which dates back 9,000 years, was lost to the sea, possibly due to a tsunami. It was rediscovered in 1984, and it's like finding the real-life Atlantis, but underwater. Despite being really old, the skeletons found there showed early cases of tuberculosis, which indicated that this huge village might not have stayed underwater for as long as we thought. Even though it's like a time capsule of ancient life, we really hope it stays preserved for future generations. Sometimes, the ocean keeps our history hidden away like a secret keeper. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.